Hey, what's happening guys? Elton McFall here. I was just doing a walking video on this street. I won't say what it is to keep some sort of anonymity with this vehicle, but uh, this is one of only two of these Mitsubishi 3000 GTs I've ever seen. And uh, it looks like she's been sitting a long time there. She's full of dust here. It almost looks like it was pulled out of a garage. Of course, this is the Mitsubishi equivalent of the Dodge Stealth. Same V6 motor, same frame. And it's funny because I know a guy, he came to my place last year, and he bought a, a bunch of, of, of Japanese car rides. I mean, tons of stuff. Honda, Nissan, Mazda, RX-7s, uh, all kinds of stuff. Preludes. And he actually, he has one of these. And he bought a Dodge Stealth to restore it because there was, <laughs> there was no parts for these cars, you know. Uh, I mean, these were not, by the way, for you younger guys, Mitsubishi, they didn't start selling Mitsubishi in Canada until like, I think the 2000s. Just a quick video. You know, as, walk, as I was walking beside it, there's something I noticed about what's interesting about this car is that if you look at it from the side, it looks a lot like a Camaro from those years, from like, you know, 94, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever. It's still neat to see, you know, it's, uh, it's probably broken. It probably needs work, you know, I mean, it's covered in dust. That's what cars look like in Southern California, by the way. I've been to LA. That's how they look, because it just never rains. Anyway, that's about it. Just a little thing. I'm going to go back to my little walking video I was doing here. And uh, great color. That's a, that's a good investment piece, I think, in the future. You know, get that while you can if you see one for sale. I think that's worth more than the Stealth because the Stealth is common and the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR is not. Bye-bye.